What's next? Our look at new ideas and innovators. And one of our featured innovators is well on their way to making an impact in the world. You may remember the dungaroo. Well, tonight it's no longer a tabletop model. It's ready for use and to make a difference. It's finally right, this is here. Our very first prototype. You're looking um, at a waterless toilet that could one day save lives. But for now, the dungaroo is ready to help porta potties smell less offensive. Sit on it just like a regular toilet. But it doesn't work like a regular toilet. It uses bags instead of water. The dungaroo was first featured on What's Next when it was just a tabletop model. Liz oh, Morris, exactly. who founded Sanitation Creations, things. says she wanted to change the world one toilet at a time. Now we could actually test it out, but instead we'll just show you how it works. So the cartridge slides in here, yeah. and when you're looking down at the toilet, what are you seeing? Um, all you would see is a bag. When you're flushing, it sort of seals the bag? Exactly. So just kind of like a Ziploc. The dungaroo can be flushed with a foot pedal or a hand lever. And that forces the bag to go in here and then is all set for the next one. And the next bag just lines up. Exactly. All the bags are collected underneath. As their website demonstrates, the bags are lined with an antimicrobial agent so they can be safely burned for methane. What's left over could be used for fertilizer. Porta potties, we can do boats, we can do RVs, we can do the individual users. So we've been starting to get requests with people who don't necessarily have piped water to their house. What started as Liz's brainchild as a UNC student has now fetched its first customer to outfit 300 porta potties on the outer banks with dungaroos. And that's a major yeah. step in yeah. success, right? This is huge, yeah. But the long term goal to put dungaroos in the poorest villages across the world. So there's the 2.5 billion people that don't have access to a toilet and they're getting sick because of that. The dungaroo could change that, Liz says and will use 10% of all her profits to get there. And we hope that all works out. Now this kicks off a month of game-changing innovations. We'll highlight the latest in 3D printing, plus a way to measure your dog's IQ and a new approach to sharing wedding pictures. Check us out. It's What's Next every Wednesday in July at 6 on WNCN.